Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at another room tour. You know, like a nerd room tour. It's been a while since I've done one, so I figured, hey, why not do one again? So, yeah, I'll give you guys a little quick overview, and then we'll try to go things in depth. But at the same time, I'm going to make things quick, just because I've done videos like these before. So, yeah, there are some changes, and some just stayed the same, so... Yeah, let's get started, shall we? So, I'm standing right here. This is where you enter my room. So, we're just gonna go back here. There's a door from where you enter and exit. Uh, a little duster because my room collects dust. So, there's that. Uh, car keys, back scratcher, don't ask. You have like a amazing Spider-Man totes bag. You have a Bruce Lee Fanatics boxed figure. A poster of Arkham Origins and right here this is a lamp shelf thing which I got on Amazon if you guys are wondering in my past videos I used to have a cardboard cutout of um, Poison Ivy she's in my closet my mirrored closet so yeah so now I have this which has uh, bus banks so pretty much this is just all DC bus banks and What's cool about it is that um, they're all from different mediums. So live action with Batman v Superman, Armored Batman, animation or cartoon, which is uh, Superman the Animated Series. You got a comic book, Wonder Woman, and video games. So an Arkham Asylum, Harley Quinn. So yeah. And what's in the drawers is just calculators, um, chargers, wires, you know, super glue, push pins, that kind of thing and then an LED lamp thing. So there's that. And right up here, you guys can see our boxed figures of Superman Returns. And I've said this in the past, not a fan of the film, but I love the toys. For some reason, I love the marketing behind the film. And it's just weird to me that, I don't know, Brandon Ralph as Superman makes a cool action figure, in my opinion. So there's that. But as you can see here, uh, Ninja Turtles Out of Shadows poster. This Superman figure right here is an extra Super Breath Superman figure. I don't know why I have an extra one. It just happens. Uh, Total Heroes Wonder Woman boxed figure. Uh, Hot Wheels boxed. Uh, Up Pez Dispenser Catwoman. This thing that I got from my drafting class or architecture class back in high school or whatever. And you got... A bulletin board full of trading cards, uh, rewards cards, that kind of stuff. A newspaper clipping of um, Power Girl. And you got Lanyard right here. And pretty much my Marvel section. So this is like the only section that's Marvel related. So yeah, I use this table to study, do homework, uh, go on my tablet, you know, read comics, digital comics, that kind of stuff. So yeah. You got another lamp right here that tells the time. Uh, two comic books, you know, that are framed, which are my, I think my most modern comics. I may be wrong, but yeah, they just happen to be Sue Storm. I decided it's appropriate because she's the first woman of Marvel. At least I like to think so. But yeah, and you got two Marvel Legends hella action figures um, held up by the Rebel Tech Yamaguchi stands, I believe. Flight stands. And down here you have my X-Men collection, which I'm really proud of. And this toy line is varied from Marvel Select, uh, Rebel Tech Yamaguchi, Toy Biz, Hasbro, and you got a custom Jim Lee Cyclops in the DC Universe Classics body mold. So there's that. And you got other Marvel figures, which are Rebel Tech Yamaguchi um, figures, Mafex, SH Figure Arts. And granted, these import figures right here or knockoffs they're bootleg but they are affordable and they work well they're, they're just as good as the real thing maybe some defects here and there when it comes to the paint job and uh, maybe some loose joints and maybe the height is a little shorter than the real thing but for the most part i think they're dope they still work well and yeah and pretty much everything else is marvel legends in here so yeah because the reason behind this collection for the past month of july and june um, I've been wanting to build a Marvel collection again because I used to have a Marvel collection and I sold it off last year. And to be honest, this rebooted, I guess rebooted 
uh, toy collection, Marvel toy collection. It looks way better than what I had before. So there's that. So that's the desk. Uh, posters, uh, Man of Steel, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Harley Quinn poster, a Venom poster from Free Comic Book Day, a Snowman Pez Dispenser as a gift. Um, the two Blu-ray exclusive action figures that are Walmart exclusives or whatever. So the Sony films, which is Spider-Verse and Venom. Amazing Spider-Man 2 poster. Let's be real. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time to this day. And trust me, I love Toby's movies. And uh, I do like Spider-Man um, from the MCU, but it's just I have more problems with that. I don't know. It's just not the Spider-Man I'm used to, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, I'll still take Garfield and Toby over Tom. Even though I have nothing against Tom, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, a Wolverine poster. My six uh, short boxes of comics. So, there's that. The top parts are DC, and the bottom parts are Marvel. And you guys can see here, these are just more literature books. And as you can see in the front, they're graphic novels outside of Marvel and DC. In the back, like I said, literature, novels, that kind of thing. And then here, just more novels and books, pretty much, that I read for high school and college and stuff like that. So, there's that. And then you have my comic book shelf right here, all these trade paperbacks, which is the standout in the collection, I think. But, yeah, pretty much you see DC right here, and then Marvel on the bottom. On the side you have like a little storage unit thing where I keep my plastic cups, my mugs, my glass tumblers for, you know, tea, alcohol, coffee, water, soda, juice, that kind of thing. And then you got like a napkin or one of those, uh, those glasses cleaners or whatever, wipers. Uh, you know, Blu-ray remote, coaster with a water bottle, a back row plush, and a Jack Specifics. Uh, 19 inch Superman figure or 20 inch you got these uh, true moves or the 12 inch um, metal Wonder Woman figures right here and just more posters from you know Guardians Godzilla Arrow Ninja Turtles and a Marvel poster and right here let me see if I can just zoom in I don't feel like walking up there but th these are Hot Wheels um, in box so pretty much the top is from the Zack Snyder Batman v Superman and Justice League the middle is from the Arkham games so Arkham Asylum and Arkham Knight the bottom is from TV shows so Batman the Animated Series and the Brave and the Bold and you got Wonder Woman poster right here a framed Aquaman poster and um, framed comic covers they're just small size pictures I printed from the internet and decided you know what, I'm going to just frame them like this and frame my favorite comic covers in small scale and just put them up there. Then you got my blinds and you got more framed mini comic uh, covers. So there's that. There's a table and my backpack for school, earphones, wallet. Still my favorite figure, my favorite Wonder Woman figure to this day is the DC Direct Alex Ross Wonder Woman. Right here you got a fan, uh, a Glade uh, air freshener or whatever, um, a glasses cleaner or a lens cleaner, and then you got the um, wipe for the glasses, and you got a nightstand right here. So yeah, you got like a little stool ladder thing, and this little platform, you know, my mini fridge tends to leak water from time to time, so I don't want to ruin the carpet, so that's why the platform exists. And you got the uh, head bank of Harley Quinn. I know it looks really, really creepy, but it looks cool. And it takes up most of the space on top of the mini fridge. So that's awesome. You got a monster poster right here. One of the most randomest posters that I got. But yeah, and you got the Jack Specifics 20 inch tall Wonder Woman and Ben Affleck Batman figures right here. And there's my, whoops, there's my uh, TV collection right here. Cartoons, live action TV shows on the top shelf. And inside the glass cabinet is just DVDs of 
various movies and all that. Same thing with the bottom where we have my Blu-rays, which I need to do a updated Blu-ray collection. So there's that. There's my old school, I think 2009, 720p HD TV. So I'm outdated when it comes to a TV, but who knows? I might get a new one soon. Uh, sound bar, uh, alarm clock, more controllers right here for the sound bar and a TV remote for the TV and a glasses pouch. And right here, more Blu-rays. Down here, you have more Jack Specific, Superman and Batman from the Justice League movie. Right here, a DVD and Blu-ray player, which I got um, over 10 years now, or it's almost to 10 years ago. And you have like extra bookends, which I'm planning to put more Blu-rays on top of my blu-ray and dvd player so there's that uh batman waste basket or trash can or whatever right here uh my game informers and you have some superman returns figures in there you got some notebooks and some extra you know loose paper in the back with a laptop amp or whatever speaker and a Batman animated series uh, lunch pail, which I decided to put there. Uh, you got a, the charger for the PS4, which I got this PS4 three years ago, so there's that. Got a little drawer, got a lamp, and I got the two 30-inch um, tall Superman and Batman, you know, Christian Bale and Brandon Routh. And the reason why I have these two, because I always wanted to see these two team up in live action, but that, that never happened, and that sucked. Got a... Uh, high school diploma and I forgot to show the rest of my posters which are just DC and a Frametron poster and a Batman poster and a mini poster and a G.I. Joe and my desk right here which you got my laptop my YouTube channel in my laptop mouse uh, pencil holder that kind of deal and that's pretty much it that's pretty much my room tour so hopefully you guys enjoy I know it's not much but I like it, so there's that. But yeah, guys, this is Steven, and I will see you guys next time. So, yeah.